So um, I have two mentees. I was a first year mentor last year and I was working with a lady who was on a maternity leave this year. So she had a little boy last year, finished out her year of teaching and then she's off right now. And I'm working with a second mentee um, who's in her very first year of teaching, helping her get established in her practice. She teaches grade six, which is the same grade I teach. It's interesting, when I look at the idea of mentorship, I think it's changed a lot from what people envision for it. So I think about in other industries or businesses where um, let's say you're driving a truck for a living, you might partner up with an experienced driver for a week, get started, they get you on your feet, but then you're sort of off on your own. Where the mentorship we're doing now, um, it's more of a 21st century model of mentorship. So instead of um, simply helping someone that's a new teacher, um, you know, get started and get established, it's really a two-way street. It, it gives me a chance to reflect on my own practice, look at the principles behind the decisions I make, and, and sort of rediscover together um, the sort of core principles of good teaching. So a, a lot less of this is the way you solve this problem, um, and a lot more of this is why we're choosing the solution. So in working with a mentee, I get a chance to reflect on my own practice and we get to together um, create a fuller picture of the principles that make great teachers great. With my own practice, I've been teaching for 18 years. Um, there are a lot of things that, that I've done in the past because they've worked for me. Um, I had a lot of informal mentors um, as I was learning to teach, but it, it was a lot more on a problem-solving basis. So you, what happens with experienced teachers, they end up with this, this body of experience that they draw from, and, and they make decisions based on that experience, um, but they don't always understand why what they're doing is effective. Um, in having both mentees who have had quite different needs, it made me reflect on my own practice and examine core principles and through that examination grow in making um, decisions in my practice that are more, that come from a philosophical place that I think is more effective. So really knowing why I'm making the decisions I'm making and the choices I'm making instead of sort of a, well this worked for me before so I'll just do it again. Um, so it's, it's made me a more well-rounded teacher. Um, the only other experience I've had like this is doing my master's, where, you know, again, looking at fundamentals of good teaching and teaching on a, um, a philosophical basis instead of on a um, problem and solution basis. I've had great colleagues I work with that help me sharpen my practice, but it, it's always scraps of time. Time uh, Teaching is such a busy profession a and um, when you have that sort of co collegial growth it's snippets at recess, snippets at lunch, um, quick emails, um, the spark of an idea that maybe you get to develop but, but it's really scraps of attention that, that you're taking away from another busy colleague. With this mentorship process and the formality of it you end up with dedicated time where you really can um, dig deeply into it and um, really in, in teaching there, most teachers are passionate and excited about what they do but they don't have time to dig deeper and develop ideas and, and bring them to fruition.